Hi, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Aquarius. Today, we'll be taking a look here and channeling messages, focusing on how is fate uh, aligning you to meet your soulmate. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike. I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now, continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, so Aquarius, we're going to take a look here at how is fate aligning you in your path to meeting or coming across your soulmate and if you take a look here on the table i already have the wheel of fortune here because where the mind goes energy flows and that's the energy that i'm tapping into what is or how is um fate aligning you okay and the sense of alignment here okay so let's take a look at some uh signs some symbols some markers that will be an indication for you, Aquarius, that you are on the right track to coming across with your soulmate. All right, so let's take a look here. We have a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. I feel here there will be a time, or if you are in this time already, okay, some of you are here already, some of you are coming into this um, uh, energy of taking time for yourself taking inventory, restarting or starting to look at things in a perspective where you are in a way being kinder and gentler to yourself. There's this sense here of not being too critical, okay? And there could have been here a time frame or maybe right now at this moment in time where you th there was this being overly critical about your, like you were being very hard on yourself, okay? Now, whether that is in the aspect of career, love, or whatever aspect it was in your life, where it is in your life, there's this feeling of being very overly critical and being very hard on yourself. And I feel here that when your, uh, when fate is going to help in this alignment for you to meet your soulmate or come across with your soulmate, there's going to be this feeling of really nurturing self, uh, self care, nurturing, being compassionate with yourself and really allowing and giving to yourself okay rather than uh kind of um kind of like instead of picking all these things that aren't positive or or, or your flaws is stick instead of picking apart your flaws the focus here is going to be on you know what being comfortable in your own skin saying to yourself you know what i'm ready i accept myself for who i am and i i'm all about self-caring and taking care of uh, this this part of myself that was in a way causing me to be extra critical, okay, or hyper vigilant, okay. Um, there's going to be this sense of inner knowing here. You're gonna know when this time is. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. There's going to be this sense of either one or two things. If you are already intuitive, there's going to be a higher sense of awareness. There's going to be a heightening of your ability of your intuition of your clairs okay of your gifted uh set of intuitive skills all right of stronger gut level feeling if you feel like well i i don't feel like i'm intuitive you're going to have a gut level feeling of when this situation or this time or this uh this situation is going going to occur there's going to be this sense of kind of just knowing whether it is that when you meet this person, there's going to be an, a sudden or this effortless feeling of I've known this person, I feel intuitively connected to this person. But whenever you come to this alignment, you're going to uh, really realize here that there is a sense of listening to your inner awareness, listening to your inner oracle. And again, that's part of where it says a time to give rather than to take. Because you're going to be in this receptive type of energy when this alignment either happens or when this is occurring, okay? There's this alignment that's happening or that's going to happen. There's going to be the sense of receptivity, 
okay so let's take a look here um aquarius at what other signs or markers or indications that you are on the right path here uh, to this alignment phase it says reclaiming your authenticity wow this is beautiful like i said there's going to be a deeper sense here of your inner awareness this receptive energy this energy of allowing things to come to you and i don't mean that you don't have to put in the work that's not what i'm talking about we all have to put in some type of work or effort in what it is that we want to do but there's this sense of surrendering to your yin energy to the part of you where you're listening to your intuition you're coming in more of an alignment of allowing things to happen to happen in a free-flowing way not pushing or not uh, making things happen but just having faith in the universe having faith that uh, what is meant to be will not pass you okay and that's the feeling here that i'm getting here uh, with with your reading here that that's when that happens um there is this sense here of this true um like i said feeling comfortable in your own skin and that's exactly what reclaiming your authenticity is about it's and it's interesting because she has her hand here on her neck this person has this uh, their hand here on the neck and i feel that it's it's not going to be a time where you're just going to be extra talkative it's going to be a time where you're going to really reflect on things that will um, make things better for you or that you feel more aligned, okay? It's a time to listen rather than a time to be uh, extremely talkative or um, that because that's how it's coming across to me. There's a time of just being in more of this meditative, contemplated silence and reflection. Um so let's take a look here at what other symbols, signs, indications here that you will be on the right path. Well, very interesting. You have the King of Pentacles here. There's this level of trust that you're going to have here with your intuition. There's going to be this level of trust here that you're going to have with your inner knowing. You're going to trust your, uh, your ability to make decisions a lot more clearer here for you. Okay, Aquarius, the King of Pentacles is a person who's very sure of the riches and the overall stability uh, of his or her life okay uh, the king of wands has nothing to do with i'm sorry the king of pentacles has nothing to do with gender but it's all about the energy that this um uh person embodies and king is all about leadership okay so what i'm feeling here is at this moment in time when this alignment either starts to occur or if you are already in this type of alignment, you're going to see that your the, the sense of stability in all aspects of your life is going to be essential. It's going to be at the forefront. That's what you're going to be focusing on. Because if you look at this king, that's what he's looking at. He's looking at that pentacle. Pentacle energy, stability in career, stability in your finances, stability in the home sector, okay? feeling a sense of um, just overall richness in your life, things opening up, things feeling more stable, having the maturity, uh, even the financial maturity here. So maybe there's, uh, at this point in time, you will start seeing uh, things in your career sector or your financial sector uh, com coming into more of a fruition or coming into more of an alignment or even more stable, okay? Uh, now, pentacle has nothing to do with wealth. It has to do with things that are meaningful, so something that is valuable to you. There is, There are things here in your life that when this alignment happens, you're going to be focusing on that the value of this. So whether the value, what value does your career bring to your life, the value of your finances, the value of your home, your friends, your family, people that you're meeting, people that you want to meet, okay? So I feel here this is all about that type or that sense of uh, overall richness, overall stability in every sector or in every part of your life. There is this sense of also long, looking at the, the uh, pentacle as a sign of you'll be ready. You'll be ready to settle down. You're no longer going to be like, 
in this energy of, well, you know, I don't know if I want to settle down. It's like you will be ready to say to yourself, I want to uh, set some roots in, in regards to relationships. I want a uh, something long lasting. I want a long lasting partnership or I want to get married or there's this feeling here of uh, really being committed uh, on the emotional front as well. Aquarius, I hope that these uh, uh, signs, symbols, and synchronicities here of your alignment uh, have been uh, some of an insight here for you. So click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.